Welcome back you guys, it's Billy D. This is Drink Smoke Build and tonight I'm going to be updating you guys on the new design for my DIY pool right here on Drink Smoke Build. Coming up next. Welcome back you guys, I'm Billy D. This is Drink Smoke Build. Go ahead and give this video a quick like and subscribe to the channel if you like this type of content. Tonight I'm going to be talking to you guys about the new design on our DIY above ground pool since as you guys know above ground pools across the nation are pretty much sold out and who does have them in stock are charging absorbent prices for them so we're going to build our own and we're going to try to keep it in the budget of under $500 including the pump so I'm going to get on with the part of the video where I'm talking about the pool itself so you can see the picture right here this is just a rough draft that I came up with this afternoon it is going to look quite a bit different than this and don't pay attention to the scale and all that like I said just a, a real rough sketch of kind of an idea of I, what I had and I've already found some things that I am going to change and you can see that here on the edges I've decided that I'm going to build a little walkway around it so um, basically kind of a little balcony um, around the edge of the pool so that the kids can get out and then walk around and whatnot and then put um, at least three more entry point ladders and bars uh, around those edges and then as you can see i have designed two levels into this pool a shallow end which you can see there and the deep end and i will actually put down a barrier and then fill it with sand and then put the liner over the top of that I haven't decided on the interior construction materials. I'm thinking about using uh, insulation foam board in conjunction with a heavy duty tarp, but I don't know. I may forego the foam board or even the tarp and uh, just do one instead of both. I don't know, I haven't quite decided on that yet. But uh, as you can see on the slats around it, I plan on using um, old fence panels that I've cut to the exact height and I'm going to build a frame, bolt those fence panels to the frame, put the liner in, maybe the foam board, then the liner, and then fill it with water and attach the pump. Now as you've seen in this picture, I've put a deck off to the end. Um, I don't know if that's going to be there or not. There is going to be a little walkway around it. Um, we may just have a ladder straight up and over haven't quite decided and then on the back side I'm either going to put stairs or gate or both again still not exactly sure I want to make sure that this is legal and I am going to need some sort of gate uh, whether it's the bottom of the stairs or um, a gate and then the stairs uh, past that so I don't know I haven't quite decided that yet and uh, we will figure that out as we go but it's important we get the frame structure up we get the main part of the pool up and then get the liner and everything in and then we can figure out the rest again like I said as we go so drop in the comments if you have any suggestions on materials and for the the liners and whatnot I've looked at pond liners they're a little expensive um, I can get a heavy duty tarp and line it with the foam board for about a couple hundred bucks so uh, I think that that probably is the route I'm going to go. Again, you guys, uh, let me know in the comments if you have a better idea or uh, suggestion. All right, thank you guys. It's been real. Thanks for joining me here on Drink, Smoke, Build for a quick one-take update on the design of the pool. We will see you guys tomorrow in an update on the chicken coop. Much love, you guys. Billy D signing out. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Mashy, mashy on that like button. And, of course, hit that notification bell. See you guys next time.